For 100 officers from Her Majesty's Prison, the Royal Grenada Police Force and the Grand Bacolet Rehabilitation Center have been trained in correctional management and leadership. Officers from both the RGPF and prisons were trained in the areas of ethics, communication, prisoner transport, techniques in handcuffing, among other areas, while those attached to the Grand Bacolet Center in the areas of mentoring, de-escalating violence, leadership, among others. To facilitate the one-week exercise, two correctional officers were brought in from Canada. Speaking at the ceremony was Deputy Commissioner for Correction in Canada, Dr. Sheridan Cyrus, who is also the brainchild behind the exercise. The Commissioner mentioned us needing a holistic approach for the island. So that is what we also tackled on this trip. First, we started with the inmates. Then we came to the prison officers. This time, Gary and I went around the island and we met with representatives of police, immigration, Coast Guard, SSU. Also did with the command another program called Emotions in the Workplace, which covers how your emotional state on a daily basis affects the way you work and the way you interact with others. Commissioner of Prisons John Mitchell says this course saved government over a million dollars. He strikes the importance of officers keeping up with the ever-changing trends and technology. With the responsibility of rehabilitation hinged on them, the prison head implored officers to implement the knowledge they have gained, reiterating the need for continuous training. I just want to say that the significance of our training here is one to build capacity. We need to grow in knowledge and in our skills as to how we deal with individuals, how we execute our functions at the prison. So we will continue as an organization to build capacity. Also, we want to continue to enhance our operational effectiveness. We just can't talk the talk, but we have to walk. We have to walk it. We have to execute it. So operational effectiveness is crucial uh, coming out of this training. We need to continue to become more marketable. Commissioner Mitchell highlighted the RGPF's 70% solve rate as a plus, but a burden on Her Majesty's prison. We have a serious issue as it relates to how do we treat, how do we rehabilitate these persons. The fact remains that the prison is the last stop. We are the last stop in assisting these persons in terms of gaining control of their lives. So when society may have failed them, when family may have failed them, when they would have failed their own selves, we at the prison have a serious responsibility in terms of rehabilitating them in a serious way to be reintegrated into society. And we must take that duty seriously. While the police force boasts about 73% solvent rate, we boast about 80% of persons who have been rehabilitated and do not return to prison. Correctional officer and facilitator Sergeant Kenton Chance indicated that this has been the most satisfying week in his entire career. Dr. Cyrus, who heads the team, promised to be back on island in June to conduct a dental clinic in St. David and again in July to conduct similar training. Chrislina John, GBN News.